can treat this is with violence because it's it's been a war on working people and black people and brown people since 1492 and this is the only way that they know how to deal with us is with violence and they more worried about spending money on protecting that building and putting a helicopter in the sky than putting together uh actual policies and work that protect black lives the whole damn system the understanding that I have back in the day, they really didn't want us here. They had us move to another town and we were um, um, pushed out of our homes, a lot of the homes out here. And when I first moved out here, I heard the clan was out here and I was like, what year is it? Are we still truly going through this? For them to respond so quickly to say this was a suicide, how could you rule something as a suicide when you haven't done an autopsy? Like, that makes no sense. You're just gonna say that this black man hung himself from a tree. As a black person, I'm gonna tell you that ain't no black man about to hang himself from a tree. It's a message and we hear you loud and clear, but we are never scared. I'm just letting you know that. happening right now in the U.S. People came out on the streets and said they wouldn't take it anymore, so they charged the cop. It wasn't voting, no disrespect, but it was the power of the people that made every single elite institution in this country acknowledge the justice of what we are doing. More and more people are watching because now more people feel the strength of the victories that have taken place. Small victories, but very important. The increase in the charges against Eric Chauvin, the murderer. A lot of other cases that have been suppressed. Victims of police brutality, whose families have been fighting for some sort of justice, now being revived. Like Breonna Taylor. She died in March, but only now is the city saying they're going to reinvestigate and open the case. So the movement is about fighting all in the United States and a fight against racism. We have a problem in our communities. It's not going to be solved at the ballot box. Yes, it's important. Yes, we need to engage that system, but we also need to build our own system to push beyond it. We will not dismantle the system with the master's tools. If we're going to really stand up for our communities, for our people, we need socialism, we need it now. We need to build this system together. <laughs> 